So what is your boys? It's me, Paul from Non Apple Fan here, and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about um, AMD and Nvidia about to get their breakfast eaten. Like their breakfast is gonna get hum 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 because uh, th there's there's a new GPU boys in town. We knew about this. We've heard about it before. Um, I think I've done a video on it before. But uh, Big Island, the GPU that th this Chinese company is making, uh, Chian's. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna butcher it. Tianzu Jixin or something like that. I can't look, I don't I don't know. Right? They're making this GPU called Big Island. It's fucking fast, is basically all you need to know about it. So you can knock yourself off there. But before you knock yourself off there, you could do a like thing. So if you do the like thing, then that would help me out and then you can just go away. <laughs> um yeah, this this GPU is bloody fast, right? It's bloody fast, it's a data center, it's not for us. Um but I thought I would talk about it in terms of its repercussions because it's kind of crazy, right? Um, if you don't know, I'm going to give a brief history of, of the GPU market. Um, and it's very simple. Uh, GPUs were made for us, for gamers, to do gaming things, um, to accelerate gaming performance, make things more pretty and go faster. Um, and if you remember the first time you ever got a GPU, you put it in and your, your game just looked way better and went way faster. And you were like, this is wizardry. What's going on here? And that is pretty much the way they the, the GPU market worked for a while. And then I pretty much when video came along and went, do you know what, lads? We're not making enough money with these things. <laughs> so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, um, find a way to sell these things to people who want to do actual work on them so that so, so they they developed CUDA and all this kind of stuff and then OpenCL came along and it's all these different ways you could make a GPU do things and then supercomputers came along and they were just the GPUs were just better than CPUs in, in supercomputers so they had them now you needed loads of CPU horsepower and you needed loads of GPU horsepower and they could sell what they would normally sell to you for like 700 bucks right for, yeah, back in the day like three or four hundred bucks they could sell it for thousands and these companies enjoyed that. Why wouldn't you enjoy getting this? So we got the MI100. We got the, what is it? The GA100 from, from NVIDIA. Um, DGX or whatever it's fucking called. I don't know what it's called. Um, and, and they do compute workloaded bah, stuff, right? And they just take all of the, 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 the things the scientists want to know. And they go, ah! and then they spit out an answer and it's great and it's wonderful and it's amazing and um it makes an awful lot of money for for nvidia and amd the problem with that was that we started to get the dregs so instead of getting this big 100 die as a gamer you'd get a 102 die because it's smaller it's cut down it's less you know it's it does less technology in it it's it's that's for you <laughs> if you want to know how how much cut down it is i'll give you an example um just in terms of crypto mining, there's rumors that the GA100 at crypto mining gets 200 mega hash. 3080 gets 100, right? So two times as fast as mining. That doesn't mean that it was game because it's not. It doesn't have any gaming stuff in it, right? But but that's basically what happened. They diverged. They broke. They branched off from gaming and thing, and then they made the thing for the people, and then we got the other thing, the dregs right and even then right that was bad enough but then they decided what we're gonna do you know pixar yeah well pixar they 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 make they they're willing to spend a couple of thousand on a thing right so because they're willing to spend a couple of thousand on a thing will we make a thing for them and that will be the gaming thing that we give to the gamers but it will be the full gaming thing and then the gamers can get the less cool less fun gaming thing right that and, and but all, all the while all the prices are going up and that's pretty much what they did for the longest time in terms of GPU. They did that, right? Um, so now you got you got this Chinese, these Chinese. And if you want to know a brief history of what's going on in the world, um, China, there's, there's, there's pressure on China. People don't want China to have all this intellectual property. People want China to fuck off. You're not getting any of these AI and accelerators and all this stuff. No, no, no. And if you do want it, you have to buy it from us. Um, but you're just not we're not we're not going to allow you into that arms race and China said well you know what we'll just make our own <laughs> and China has 1.5 billion people so China can do pretty much whatever the fuck they want and they did because <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable this is un for a first attempt this is unbe-fucking-leavable what they've done right 
and yeah and, and so so basically china does all the manufacturing the the western world did all the ip now china is going to say we're going to do the ip as well and you can go fuck yourself and then the the western world went maybe we should probably up some of our own production in case we ever fall out with these guys because we pretty much fuck them over on a daily basis rightly or wrongly I don't, i'm not gonna not here to argue politics so on a daily basis we kind of go um you know what we're, we're gonna fuck you over so and then they want to fuck us over and then it's just it's just a big clusterfuck fucking over and they make all the silicon so now if we are really reliant on china with the silicon what are we going to do if they go we're not giving you any more silicon because that would be really fucked up right planes use silicon bombs use silicon uh defense networks use silicon radar every, every cars fucking cars use 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 silicon now right so everything uses a little bit of smartphone every, everything so if if china just goes you know what now you're a third world country <laughs> so the, the western world went do you know what we're gonna do we're gonna move all that shit we're gonna start making it in the in 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 you know we're gonna let it make a lot of these companies you want to keep trading with us you got to put some fabs in our countries as well so that's that happened with tsmc intel the big intel ceo new guy going and went look we're gonna reinvest in all this so there's just manufacturing here there's manufacturing already in the us there's manufacturing here there's manufacturing in israel as far as i know so what they did was they went we're gonna up all our, our production there so we're gonna reinvest a lot of money in there and up our production there government please give us some money and the government will probably give them money so that's what that's the short short brief history of that meanwhile uh, all the while gamers were being dicked because these things originally were made to be gaming processors but then turned out that they were really good at other shit so they just may use them and others are getting charged people more so this new G -G 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 uh, big island gpu is pretty uh it, it's small in terms of its transistor count but it's big in terms of its performance that's what's so impressive about it it uses seven nanometer it uses 32 gigabytes hbm2 it has a bandwidth of 1.2 1.2 terabytes very much like the mi 100 from amd i think nvidia has a higher one 1.6 terabytes it's got fp32 fp32 which is the gaming performance right <laughs> fp32 t flops of 37 37 teraflops 37 and teraflops now nvidia has all these weird numbers because they've they, they use their tensor ops to give them so, so so let's just use this standard amd's new gpu the big one with the fucking loads and loads, 120 cus i think it has and um, that has 23 teraflops nvidia's one has a 19.5 this thing has 37 <laughs> um and then it's got loads of fp what's the fp16 performance on it where it does, does it say here i think it does uh during the its board meeting uh the founder of the company unveiled its big ireland gpu featuring a monolithic design the gpu is based on tsmc 7 nanometer finfet process node as and has a 2.5 d uh uh can't remember what wafer on substrate i can't remember what c o w o s means again I know it. I just can't remember it. It's wafer on substrate. Something, something wafer on substrate. I, I can't. Uh, designed consider it packed. It, it packs the GPU DRAM on the same. So, so, so the DRAM and the thing are on the same substrate. We've seen that before. Um. Uh, the GPU is made up of twenty-four billion billion transistors, which is actually less than Big Navi. Uh, and features up to 37 teraflops of fp32 a 147 teraflops of fp16 is that 147 teraflops of fp16 or is that b float 16 i don't i can't I, I, look it's a 100 one, 147 t flops of fp16 that's what it says here i, I don't know what I don't, and it's got it gives all the tops and stuff like that now if you want to compare that to nvidia go to wccf tech they've done a chart um 
you can see it there uh nvidia destroys and all the all the tensor workloads because they got the tensor cores so that, so, so the, this thing it just gets absolutely mince meated in there b float 16 gets like it does double and all that kind of stuff but the thing the root what's what, why it's so interesting is because this thing has really high fp32 performance really high fp16 performance and it's got 24 billion transistors and if you look at the amd's gpu that's 50 billion transistors and uh, a100 has 54 billion transistors so this thing is doing it with half the amount of transistors and it's doing it bloody well yeah so you can take all these numbers and as long as they're not fucking 3x you could probably make a gpu that does all the things that this gpu does but as is doubles like you probably do that right so so this is fucking frightening um yeah it's frightening because it's a first shot i'll, I'll read i Good friend of the channel Cortex, he, he he put it succinctly enough. I read his article ages ago, and I thought I'd get it out for this one, right? So go over to Cortex.com, uh, and you can read the, uh, Cortex.tech, sorry, and you can read this article. But um, uh, the possibility of losing a huge market share corresponding to the Chinese the Chinese market. Comp- uh, did did I want to make sure did Cortex the Celso write this? I don't know who wrote it, but it's on his channel, so I, I don't know whether it was him or not. I think I think he has other people who write for him sometimes. Um, but the possibility of losing uh, the huge market share corresponding to the Chinese market coupled with uh, increasingly uh, evident high-tech self-sufficiency uh, that has, gee, it's very wordy, uh, that has uh, been emerging in China in multiple fields will be a real cause for concern for all the Western tech companies in the coming years. Big Island is an excellent example of long-term strategic vision uh, amid... Uh, sorry, aimed at uh, serving Chinese China's growing AI cloud market. With development expected very soon, adding uh, the great ver- uh, versatility and innumerable possibilities for evolution of this of the architecture uh, to the in-house Chinese development of other important elements such as advanced node technologies, DRAM fabrication. It is possible to see clearly a uh, not too distant future in which uh, blah, 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 uh, becomes the global name in AI innovation. It will be interesting to follow the evolution the evolution path of Big Island and how the incumbent GPU marker, makers will respond. I thought that was very apt and succinct to put it when you see this thing, right? Because this thing is impressive and you can, you can put it whatever way you want. And I know we talk about gaming here, but if you can do this, you could do that to the gaming market if you wanted to, if there was a will. <laughs> and that's what I've said for the longest time is that these companies kind of forget who put them where they are, right? AMD and NVIDIA tend to forget that the reason why they exist solely is because gamers bought their GPUs every time. And, uh, you know, that loyalty is only only goes so far. Um, if you want to keep spending, spending your time selling your GPUs to miners... Uh, off the books hiding it pretending like you're on gamer side well one day a a company will come in china has the will to do it uh intel is doing it as well uh, and will come in and supply this market because they thought they had a duopoly right they thought they could do this they could just carve it up in half you have that bit we'll have this bit and no that's not the way it works and the cpu market's going to experience something very similar very soon um so while you're all worried about ever increasing prices i need to remind myself of this sometimes i think i think i need to remind myself that um you know the world is a big bad place and that there is other there is other companies out there and they won't only solely sell to to china eventually they'll sell to other uh you know other nations and other places so eventually you get to the point where you look at these things and you'll be like ooh, 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 and you might just buy one right it might trickle down to you this is what you do uh like there's no real money in this as a company the money is, is through volume you want to sell volume so you get, everybody wants to make a margin right and the margin in semiconductors is fucking huge but the way you get rich is by selling volume and nvidia sells volume intel sells volume amd sells volume i suppose not a lot but not, not as many as those guys but they do sell volume so the way to get rich, just if you don't believe me, go look at AMD's earnings and go look at Intel's earnings, right? <laughs> they make the same thing, right? AMD's margins are nearly the same as Intel's now. Intel's gross margin was 53%, actually. It's dropped. 
uh, and AMD's is 50, right? So go look at it and go, why does Intel make so much more money? Because volume. That's the reason why. Volume. And it, you could see a world where these guys w destroy the incumbents because the money is there. The will is there. Um, and people have been resting on their laurels for a long enough time that these guys will come in and eat their breakfast. And I think it's very funny that this thing is the first attempt that it wait, remains to be seen, uh, whether it gets traction, whether people buy it, whether people enjoy it, whether it actually works the way it's supposed to work for the things that it's supposed to be built to do. Um, this all remains to be seen. NVIDIA still has the, the Tensor Core advantage, but like that's not, you know, that's not NVIDIA's property. Tensor Core has been around for a while. Google make their own Tensor accelerators. So we shall see watch this space and this has been a very high level um covering of of what this this could literally cost amd and nvidia billions if these guys get their act together anyway don't forget to do the like comment share and subscribing that really helps me out liking really helps me out. sharing the video really helps me out and i'll talk to you the next one you can do the patreon paypal thing where you get access to my discord excuse me um and i do do voice chats in there from time to time or you could buy some merch. I'll talk to you next one. Go press this button. Stop recording. Bye 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 bye.